This is Tita on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Yeah, what's up? Hi. What's wrong? Well, yeah, you know. Ah, sorry. I'm just thinking of all the, the Drama, episodes that just right? happened before the show. But, um... Ah, it is well. Ah. It is mm. well. Yeah. What episode is that? Did I miss it? Mm, I don't know. It's possible you miss it though, because people that perpetrate things don't know what they do <laughs> at oh, all. Really? They don't know what they do. It is. It like, oh, is it's a drama. They need to place them. Have you know, yeah. Have you know how those, those um, that made those type of people where they'll aggravate you. You have a, a fight and everything. You know, you not say something like, "Please, I don't want to fight anymore." They'll say, "Oh, are we fighting? <laughs> are we fighting?" I'm like, "We're very." I don't understand. Fight, like, you know. why am I lost? Like, uh, we get, we understand. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, are, yeah, we've we've encountered <laughs> people like that before. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Moving on. Right. According to a new Forbes report detailing um his rise from being poor as hell to rich and powerful tyler perry is officially a billionaire the breakdown of forbes calculation shows tyler is worth 320 million dollars for his entire library of movies um tv shows plays and others as he owns 100 percent of um, the content he has created 300 million dollars in cash and investment 280 million dollars for tyler perry studios um, which sits on a 330 acres in georgia 60 million Million dollars for his equity stake in BET Plus and forty million dollars in homes and toys. One thing that stood out for me was um, ownership. Hundred percent ownership, yeah. Not just it doesn't ownership. Hundred percent ownership, yeah. You're correct, but ownership. I think ownership can't be quantify like um, when you start saying 100 when i say 100 percent ownership yeah you're quite right you can, well, well i think what they meant 100 percent is because some people share the ownership like they say 50 percent between this person and yeah this person. so that's you're right 100 percent. that's one thing that stood out for me um they said he's done series right of um episodes of um his shows and he owns all of them and he also gave a story when he did an interview with forbes on how his father used to be a subcontractor and now he used to make 800 um, dollars and the owner of the house would make 800,000 and that was what instilled in him how to own his own stuff. So I think this is very important in as much as you want to get into the limelight and you, you should start considering that okay years down the line when I've made back the money will I still own some of this content that I'm actually putting out there now. So I think uh, your negotiation, your negotiating power too is very very important. So I'm really proud of Tyler. Perry and is now in the same category as the people that even gave him a breakthrough such as Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey helped him a lot and he's a billionaire that's just like Oprah right mm. now and that's just amazing. So I think there's the saying of uh, we want the ones before us, I mean the ones after us to do better than the ones mm. before. I mean yeah. I like the lessons you're pulling out from it yeah. but then let's not turn it into a motivational speaking that will make people start aspiring to perspire to something that is nothing. I still love the conversation regarding um, where people tend to let you know that it's okay to have 5% of a billion dollar investment than only 100% of something that will probably not become a success because you to collaborate mm -hmm. so and even in the sustainable development goal one of um, what they champion which is the number 17 is okay. partnership okay. and collaborations is important so yes he's working for tyler and he owns 100 percent because he actually writes everything remember we had that conversation so if he was going to outsource it and i'm afraid to talk you know bring what See, which is why I'm afraid to talk because. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it depends on how you want to go about it. But shout out to Tyler Perry; he's doing amazingly well for himself and mm. for the culture. Um, he's he's an inspiration for many, and even for himself. He, he, mm. if, if I can say that myself, yeah. so um, shout out to him. He's 50 and a billionaire, so he, he could take someone 30 years or 20 years, another person 50 years. So there's a lot of lessons to pick from his life story, of and just. Focus on your focus. The lesson me I race. picked out yeah. is that eh, sometimes it's not even about the quality of the stuff that you make because for me personally, I <laughs> when, when every time he maybe you should turn right, that to knowing that there's a market for every thing kind you. of and, thing. And, and, you know yeah. today, Terry, um, Terry said, Apala, yeah. Apala mentioned the same thing that 
it's so not even if you sang bad, if you had a great team. Um, yeah. For somebody who has such huge criticisms, uh, criticisms in the media industry in terms of his work being very uh, media low budget or this and this and the story sometimes repeat itself. And or being shot in seven days. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. that type of stuff um, has has not really changed the fact that you can still succeed. Now you look at somebody like that, look at someone like like Oprah, like you mentioned, who has put excellent work in in tv production mm. she's still on that same list so mm. i think the it's it beginning to show me that there's there's a lot of um components to making this success definitely team. and it isn't just one thing i think about um what's her name kylie jenner a lot of the times i know I've, I've made my statement clear here several times i don't like what that babe stands for or mm. what it is that she's promoting think about her. but but no, i don't think about her you just uh, said it now yeah? <laughs> no i don't think about it so every time the, the thing comes up if okay. i have to talk about it and i'm only talking about it because they're paying me to do so i wouldn't talk about it at home mm. but um either Ways. I think she also has her own niche, so it's beginning to it begins to see more and more that it's it's almost it's almost irrelevant to criticize people because that thing that you want to criticize might be the exact yeah. thing it's just that like when you need an to an actually upcoming go artist for comes to you to say listen to my song and you listen to you that I know it's rubbish, but that person can meet a billionaire that will pour money into so promoting that like song. The and will blow. Yeah, so I feel like for me, what I took out of the, of the story personally is that I don't really have an excuse as to saying that I don't want to because because that thing that I might be thinking might be the reason why. I shouldn't start something might be the exact thing that would be my niche like yeah. yeah so i mean i'm inspired by him i think one of the things that really stands out for me in terms of his content creation every time i always wonder why is this guy writing stories like this it's mad to me especially when it was all, all the things that he represents for the black community and i realized that he's actually writing that because he was raised in that type of dramatic home he's had women in his life that have gone through a lot of things i feel like that for me is really really inspiring that he's taking a lot of bad energy to make something really beautiful. So yeah. I'm happy for him. Okay, let's go on a quick break, but when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. He must pay me damages. Now, I don't even know if the story is a joke or this person is serious. But then, mm -hmm. the photographer is accusing Bernard Boy of intellectual property theft. Um, so, the yeah, that's the image on screen. Um, I think the one he used on his album, yeah? Try that at store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> mm. Yeah, so he says he's crying out on behalf of all his other brothers who cry that their ideas are being stolen. Mm. Yeah. This idea thing has is is um, a is it's rocket science really. It's almost impossible to get your mind around that. So now are you telling me that this man is saying that he has never seen anyone take a picture like this facing down before before even what's it called? Facing down, be your leg up. Uh, honestly, uh, there is a, a I think if he has a picture, <laughs> you know, I was just gonna say it. Like. I know, like. <laughs> If it comes to ideas, there's always an idea that has already been put out there before, mm -hmm. um, which is why I kind of like copywriting because then it's, just, it's now just claiming, using how to just claim something first. How is he even sure that Bonaboy ever saw this that photo? picture? I, I mean, and it's hard. I think I think it's just commonsensical that when you're trying to depict height or greatness or mm. I'm above you, you take the picture from <laughs> underneath, right? So I think that's just exactly but what But then the played. clouds as well, the... Um, and why you take from under? We really use umbrella maybe, to cover you. Maybe it was inside the house <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, it's, it's just commonsensical. I don't see... I, I know, yes, there's a little bit of resemblance, but I'm That's why I think he's joking, actually. Yeah, there, yeah. I think he was just trying to yeah, there get is attention. Resemblance, he's but getting it, so... Mm. Yeah. Does I, it? Some, some people genuinely claim the rights to things like that. I mean, we've had that with music, where there'll, there'll be an original, like... I'm uh, suing Bonaboy too, because I have that picture. See, when when see, did you bring the, out your the, own? The, 
mine before now. Before this before. guy. Yeah. So you will sue the guy first. Yeah, I'll sue this then guy. Then you first, now yeah. sue. Just yeah. add both of them in the. We don't even have that culture of um, 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 intellectual property in this country. So I don't know uh, we why. Actually it's, do. We actually do. when you get to we cost, do like, have you know, we do. People, just that no, people don't have the power to. not existing, but does it actually get to the bottom of things? Yes. The intellectual property lawyers. If you have the energy to chase it. the ones I have seen, I've even known personally, has gone out the window. People were better. We have when people like hold on. Actually, out the window in court. Or the person no, just didn't get to court. Yeah, so we have a let me a classic example is when you can't win and I, I rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, but that one is a lot bigger though. Mm. That's that's like it doesn't have to be big, but, um, but, but um, it does. Of it has course, celebrity status to it. Either way, I even feel like Burner Boy's album has been claimed by many people that he stole quite a lot of ideas. So I know a few people even on Twitter that were saying something about his animation. That whole animation video thing that somebody was already working on it. He put pictures out and everything. Uh, but it, 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 um, I think, what's his name? J. Cole has said something like that about about um, art, that you can't really say that somebody has stolen your ideas because that's the point of art, to be able to put it out There's there, to influence, the to influence each other. So mm. how can you really claim something when your own work too was influenced by something? Well, come and back to this saying picture. That you no put now trying to say that Bonner Boy saw this picture. It is very possible. Just as it's possible that he didn't see the picture. It's very possible. It's a possibility. It's very it's, possible. It's, it's, not even just burn, it's not even Burner Boy. It's a person that he's his creative director. Mm. Who has gone to go and search for twice as tall, <laughs> influence, How can we influence or whatever? Being twice yeah. as tall? How can we represent it is very you being the possible. Giant you, of you, Africa? It's possible. I, I agree, but you don't need to think. I mean, you just said it. If you want to take a picture and want to really look tall. Mm. As a, as a person self, I'll tell you, please, can you bend down for me? Please, let mm. me take this picture. I want to mm -hmm. be tall in this picture. I mean, we all do it. So I don't think... Well, anyway, let's see what happens. But I it, don't it's, think... it's, such a, it's such a flimsy thing. Except yeah. they've worked together before. And he yeah. was certain unless that he, he had prove, seen him. Yeah, yeah. unless he can It's all speculation. That. I could also say that Burner Boy was It's just like the guy who came out me. to accuse um, Tony Back, uh, Toby Bakker. Yeah. Remember yeah. That, that picture thing that he sent an email of yes. the idea. Yes. Then that, that you could that, say, that okay. That one is a lot more he came out to say he did not open the email or something. I, I don't beg know, you. you know, but that one, I could say, yes, yeah. you have a communication trail. They do that all the passing. time. I've never um, submitted a challenge or like a yeah, participated or, or, or work or work whatever. They'll tell I you to, you want to create a new show, tell us your ideas mm -hmm. and then they won't pick you and then they'll pick somebody that knows your ideas. Have you seen ideas. a classic mm -hmm. case where we invited somebody for tea time and now they're having a show called tea time? Yeah, that was weird. <sighs> tea time continues right after the short break. <laughs>